Hey guys, so if you're thinking about staying at a beach house for your family vacation getaway, maybe you have a big old family, large group of friends, or you're looking for something a little bit more quiet and intimate, look, I totally get it. I've lived in Port Aransas for the better part of like five or six years, and well, I practically grew up here, and I can tell you that there are definitely pros and cons to choosing where you stay, what type of place you stay in, and so in this video, we're gonna be going over exactly that. So let's jump into it. So I'm standing in front of 727 Park Place in Port Aransas, Texas. Um, I've known the owners for a long, long time, so I thought it would be the perfect place to show you guys why a place like this could be the vacation destination you've been searching for. Now, just some quick stats. Uh, this home sleeps 14 people. It's just steps away from the beach and is located in probably one of the quietest and best cul-de-sacs on the entire island. So we're gonna get more of that in a minute, but first, let's go take a look inside. As soon as you walk into the great room, oh my God, there's just so much lighting, natural light just flooding the complete interior of this home um, and not to mention all of the seats. What I'm thinking immediately is the number of like people you can have over while you're celebrating parties, Thanksgiving, oh man, we spent pretty much every Thanksgiving of my childhood in this room um, and you know what? Great memories were had. So I'm gonna take you through the kitchen. Now they've completely redone this interior. They've got <clears throat> stainless steel appliances. I mean, obviously, right, you gotta have that. But what I really love is under cabinet lighting, tons and tons of countertop space. And look at this island, guys. I mean, <laughs> this island is more countertop space alone than my apartment in Chicago. And on top of that, they've got bar seating too. So if I'm just gonna count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, guys. Just in the kitchen area alone, you have seats for 10 people to enjoy Thanksgiving and birthday parties. Walking further into the great room, I mean, we've got another like 10 windows, just bringing tons and tons of natural light. You got the TV, you got more, oh my God, more bar seating. So make that 13 seats for bar seating. Um, of course, you've got the, the living room furniture, a nice little sway chair. I love that sway chair. I, I spent like three years on that thing, I'm telling you. Yeah, they, they've completely redone this place and made it so much better. Um, and also, what I'm really excited about is this. Now, they've brought out some perfect looking outdoor furniture. We're gonna go take a look here. Yeah, okay, this, this furniture is comfy. It's, it overlooks, you know, a great, great view. And lounge chairs as well. Guys, you can't beat it. Wow, let's keep on walking. So let's leave this great room here and, <laughs> and let's go check out uh, down the hall. We're gonna see the two bedrooms on this floor. Right now we're on the top floor. Um, there's two bedrooms on the top floor and there's a bathroom as well. So if you're thinking about all these different places, again, this sleeps 14 people, which is insane. So in this bedroom, there are four twin beds, uh, two windows bringing a lot of ample light and a TV to keep the kids entertained before and after dinner, really awesome. Uh, we're walking across the hall now. We're going to be passing by a bathroom with a shower, two sinks. Going to the second bedroom, behind me is a king-sized bed, a private balcony, and finally, two twins as well. So, if you think just top floor alone, you're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people can sleep up here, which is insane. And both rooms have a TV with Wi-Fi equipped. It's great. Pros, great family environment, a lot of space for people to sort of mingle and be together, especially for like the holidays and things like that. The cons for the, for the beach house is that it's probably not the best place 
to have with a bunch of friends, right? There isn't a huge amount of privacy. There are a total of five bedrooms total. Um, and some of these bedrooms have like multiple beds inside of it. So if you're thinking about couples and stuff, unless you guys are really close, <laughs> it's not gonna be the best spot to be in. For that, I'd recommend several condos or maybe even a couple of townhomes all side by side. That'd be really cool.